Okay, we start our class now. Let's take a look uh, uh, to the condense, which uh, finish the introduction, the benefit of meditation and the condition. Uh, remember, uh, we, uh, we extensively discussed the five precepts and we, talk, uh, we start talking about the side of eradication of the major offenses. Uh, this is where uh, we are. Uh, let's take a look. In the previous lessons, uh, we are here. Uh, wait, have we watched the video clip about the thousand hands quantum? Have you watched it? Yes, we have watched it. Okay. Uh, so uh, this, uh, uh, so this, my bookmark is, is not accurate. Uh. So uh, where are we now? Anybody can tell me uh, if that's the case, where are we now? Um, uh, page number seven. Uh, no, no, no. Tell me the title. The page, pages might be different. Okay. Um, Have we gone through the cloak and right livelihood, this one? Is that barely food already? Okay. How about living in leisure and quiet place? Done? Already done. We now uh, at okay. the desire and abundance hindrance 4.0. Okay. Uh, we haven't started this yet, right? Uh, we start one paragraph, I think. Okay, so now we go to the second paragraph. Among uh, all abandoning great. Ah, here lah. I see the bookmark already. Huh? Okay, so class, uh, in our previous lesson, we talked about condemn, desire, and abandoned hindrances. Meaning to say that there will be some visible, uh, appealing, visible forms, sound, audio, tastes, and tangible things. Huh? At the class, uh, basically, uh, we all consider living in the sensual realm. Huh? Sensual realm meaning to say that uh, from the hell, hungry ghosts, I showed you before, huh? uh, okay, hungry, uh, the hell, hungry ghosts, animal, human, and then uh, all the uh, 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 desires, uh, heaven, we all consider, uh, we all have our ability uh, uh, to eat and also to produce offspring. Huh? So this is the feature sub. Uh, uh, for the for the living being uh, staying in the sensual desire, okay. Uh, but of course, uh, in hell and also hungry ghosts, uh, they are suffering more than uh, the joy. Basically, they do they don't do all this. Uh, they are they are suffer all the time. But animal, yes, they do enjoy. Okay, uh, I mean uh, they will enjoy maybe uh, producing offspring and also eating. But uh, they are quite stupid. Uh, so meaning to say that they are quite ignorant. They 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 quite quite hard for them to tell. Uh, what they do uh, is just based on their basic instinct. Uh, okay, just like the tiger. Tiger keep on eating the animals, uh, but it is sort of killing because uh, this is their karma. This is their, their we call it as a, a friction. Uh, uh, this is a consult a resultant. So we need to say that tiger keep on eating the the, the uh, 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 killing the animals, it, it, they wouldn't create a strong karma. It's been a, like, likewise, uh, for the elephant uh, and also the zirafa, even though they keep on eating the leaf, but it doesn't mean they create a good karma. Finally, they can reborn as a human. No, it doesn't mean that. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, we don't consider them as a vegetarian, but we consider them as a, a herbivore. <laughs> so herbivore doesn't create a karma. But for human, if you choose, oh, uh, today I want, I, I, I prefer to eat a uh, vegetarian, maybe with the intention of to protect the earth. Okay, well, this is a good intention. It's nothing to do with the religions. Okay, uh, but you think, oh, uh, today I do, uh, today is a 15 uh, lunar month, so I don't want to eat uh, the animal meat uh, in order to avoid the killing. Also, that is due to the compassionate. This is quite related to the religion. Do you get it? Uh, so we need to say that for us, uh, we are really considered, we can create the karma uh, through our eating habits. Okay, uh, but for animals, they don't because uh, what they do all are, all are based on the basic instinct only. That they don't create any karma, right? So that's we talk about uh, the desire realms so we stay. Uh, okay. Then uh, now we begin with the first one. Okay, and from here we talk about that. Uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, all, uh, all the sensual pleasure is momentary. Uh, but they are quite, uh, I mean, uh, they make a puzzle. Uh, uh, basically, uh, not, uh, 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 basically, it's quite hard for us uh, to resist the temptation. Uh, but uh, if we go to the root cause, uh, uh, we shouldn't, uh, uh, the, the excellent factor is partial of the cause only. The major factor is in our heart because we have the greedy. Okay, uh, once we have greedy and uh, we, we, we prefer to, I mean, uh, we want to experience the joy, uh, so we will go to commit all this. Okay, uh, so how to prevent this? Uh, Okay, the point is uh, always keep on remind yourself that uh, 
Oh, just I mean, like if you go to uh, to, to experience the joy, which is uh, infringe of the five percent or which is illegal, so you have to always think that it's just like you put some honey on the plate. You see, uh, if you go to uh, liquor the honey, okay, finally you will wound yourself. Oh, so you always think that if I go to do this, uh, uh, my reputation will be tarnished. Okay, or uh, people won't respect me anymore, or I will lose. Uh, they, uh, 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 I, I, I might incur some financial loss. All this. Uh, and my status with God, if you really think about that, uh, you will, I mean, uh, uh, I mean uh, you, will, you will be very careful huh, uh, before go to, uh, go to try uh, all this type of joy. Huh. Uh, basically, the joy, uh, uh, from scientifically, we can say that it's due to the, uh, the excretions uh, uh, of the dopamine, okay, uh, the, the, the dopamine and the serotonin from the brain. Huh. So this is when it appears, uh, when, when the excretion come, uh, of all this uh, chemical stuff come out, you will feel the joy, okay? Uh, and the joy can be from, from the meditation and from doing the good deeds, okay? Even maybe a uh, gambling, uh, uh, maybe even uh, consumption of the marijuana, or all, all the joys, uh, sometimes you go back to the same chemical substance, which is from our brain, the dopamine especially. But for certain joy, uh, for example, consumption of marijuana and the drugs, it will really damage you, even though you feel the joy. And the overjoy will make you over dependence on the chemical substance and make you very uh, passive. Likewise, for meditation, if you over meditate and you get the job of meditation and over meditate, it will make you passive at the same time. So that's why you are discouraged over meditation. Do you get it? Okay. Huh? But the problem is, I think you all are under meditate. Lah. <laughs> You don't have the problem of over meditate because everybody is under meditate. Huh? So, so make sure huh? <laughs> you meditate normally first. Huh? And then we talk about over meditate. Okay, huh? okay. Huh? Are you am I right? Anybody you click? Is there anybody want to admit uh, you are under meditate? Please throw your hand. I see one, two, three, four, five. Ah, you see, majority are under meditation. You don't need to worry. Lah, huh? Okay, huh? Uh, but the job of meditation really can make you become passive. You don't want to talk. If it happens, uh, please stop meditate. Uh, please stop meditate. So you just meditate to the, to the extent that if you join, okay, uh, uh, less temper, good temper, okay, uh, less attachment, that will be fine. Okay, huh? uh, if you start, you don't want to talk, so you should stop meditating already uh, because uh, you still have the interaction, you have the work. Am I right? Oh, okay. I think uh, the people are uh, besides Fung, uh, I think Fung, uh, if you meditate until the level, what you want to talk, it doesn't matter. You just stay at house, you're retiring, so you just enjoy the dopamine from your brain through meditation. It sounds like taking drugs, like uh, it, it sounds <laughs> the same, uh, I'm just staying there, but it's a different because the meditation uh, without dependent on the chemical. Uh, and yet, it is cheap. Free work, huh? it's also the bread, or you get the joy, you just stay there. Cheap work. <laughs> it's the best way huh, uh, to, to always be in the meditative joy. Yes, Tan, any questions? Uh, can I ask, like you say, don't over meditate. Uh, what is the, is there a balance point, like how many hours? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, that depends on the hour. Yes, uh, first of all, the meditation shouldn't exit, uh, influence your lifestyle. No. Okay, so you have to balance for yourself. Secondly, if this is influence your daily life, you still have to talk. So over meditation, if, but, the, but the problem is not, it's, it's not really the time, it's the quality. If your quality uh, is good and you make it long, then we, we consider it as an over meditation. If your quality is good, but you make it very short time, uh, then, uh, then, the, then the joy will be gone, you know. Uh, once the joy will go, uh, once the, all the joy gone, Basically, you go back to the normal. You will start scolding people already. <laughs> yeah, 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 it can happen like that, you know. Uh, because uh, uh, the jhana is like a rock uh, we suppress uh, uh, all the grass uh, from, gro uh, from growing. Uh. The grass uh, is just like all your temper, your attachment. Uh, the jhana will suppress it. Uh. So once you get some joy, uh, maybe uh, it will just, uh, I mean, uh, the joy uh, is like a ripple. So it continues for, uh, for some time. So, uh, but, but once all the ripple gone already, huh, you go back to the normal. And you can start school people already. Huh? <laughs> okay, do you get it? Huh? Okay, now uh, we go to the next one is regards this abandoning the grid. Huh? A class, can you please copy down the sentence?
hey, just now I tried to joke uh, but why no people laugh? Uh? Okay, uh, can you all laugh uh, after I count one, two, three? Huh? One, two, three, laugh. Uh, <laughs> laugh. So many people say you are on normal. You are all not, you all uh, not over meditate. Okay, huh? uh, okay. so you're all normal. You don't over meditate. Okay, okay. Huh? Okay, please copy down. Okay, uh, then, uh, Eden, can you please uh, read the whole passage after copying? Huh? Abandoning, uh, ab abandoning greed. Greed is the first unwholesome root, covers all degrees of selfish desire, longing, attachment, and clinging. Its characteristic is grasping an object. Its function is sticking as meat sticks to a hot pan. It is manifested as not giving up. Its proximate cause is Seeing enjoyment in things that lead to bondage. Okay. Grasping. Okay, everybody's uh, finished copying now. Okay. Okay, we are going to watch a video clip before discussion. Okay. Okay, uh, please enjoy the uh, video clip now. Your store card is like a 50% off cash. 
Okay, we applause to the video clip. Okay, huh? yes. Yeah, Ying Ying, uh, can you tell us uh, what do you watch? Uh? What do you get uh, from the short video clip? Uh? Mm, what do I learn? Uh? Mm, what do you get from the, uh, from the short video clip? Um, the desires on ours that um, we need to not to let the desires overwhelming mm, okay. on ourselves because sometimes things that we might not need it but mm. when we when we um, saw someone that they want the things but we want to rush for it that uh, Mm, okay, oh, yes. Yeah, Elaine, uh, have, uh, 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 do you notice that actually the girl uh, adopts some strategies uh, to resist uh, uh, I mean for the temptation, Elaine? Do you see that? Do you notice that, Elaine? Uh, yes, uh, because every time when she sees the thing, she will ask, do I need this? Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but do you think is, is she successful for being Leo? No, right? Okay. No, no. Ah, so they mean because it's not fighting already, right? Oh, it's the same. Yeah. Uh, the fighting and men also happen. Uh, maybe maybe men fight, fight for other things. Uh, it's the same with me. Uh, so you see, I'm meaning to say that the girl actually uh, is trying to use uh, some strategy to resist for it. Uh, but you see, meaning to say that actually the, uh, the girl uh, shouldn't go to this type of seals. Am I right? You think so? You shouldn't go, you see. If you go uh, and your heart is still very vulnerable, huh? you can't resist it. Okay. Huh? So what else uh, do you see again, Yeling? Uh, Lastly, uh, uh, does the girl, uh, is the girl feel happy? Lastly? She feel very sad. Uh, why? Uh, she feel regret. Uh, of, for what? Uh, uh, spending so much money and so much things that it is not necessary in her life. Uh, because yeah. every time when she said it, do I need this? But then after getting all the stuff and she sees so many stuff and uh. he noticed that she don't need that. Uh. And also That's from the label, I think he noticed uh, something is very bad thing, right? It's not a very high quality thing, right? From the label, he said, oh, how come I go to find this type of uh, garbage to come back, you see? Uh, so meaning to say that actually, uh, what we really sacrifice us uh, is the joy, the feeling. See or not? Oh, okay. Oh. Why? Because uh, you, you think uh, you, you can keep on maintaining the joy when you possess certain things. But finally, you realize that uh, uh, the joy will be gone. Uh, that's why uh, <laughs> even though uh, you all love to each other, uh, the husband and wife, uh, maybe uh, one year, two years, then, then the joy will be gone already. Uh. Okay, so, so this is meaning to say how do you keep it uh, uh, the relationship, uh, there must be other reason. So that's why uh, for, hus for the couples, uh, they need the children uh, to keep the relationship because uh, the feeling of love will be gone one. Like, like, like the girl say, you know, so she keep on shopping uh, uh, to persist, to, uh, to, I mean, uh, to maintain the joy. But once the joy gone, what can the girl do again? Leon, what do you think? For the girl, you think, uh, if the joy gone already, uh, so what will the girl to do again to, 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 uh, to fight back the joy, you think? Go and buy more. Yeah, that's the point. You see, ah, uh, so that's why uh, the girl actually in the great debt, you know, ah, uh, all the debt collector uh, just go on uh, uh, rushing for from her. You see, so that's why uh, this is the problem. You see, uh, it is not right for you uh, to maintain the joy and keep on looking external thing to fulfill to fill up the joy within your heart. So that's why if you meditate uh, uh, this is the cheapest way to get the joy. Ah, it is free one. Ah, you don't need to use external thing uh, and pay for the credit card just to fulfill it. And you notice that uh, it seems this type of greedy, uh, uh, the hole is very big. Uh, like the girl, you see? Ah, actually, actually, the God girl, uh, they go to join the group. Uh, the group call up uh, and, and uh, what? Uh, ND, uh, how to say? Uh, ND shopping group, you know? So all the one are crazy shopping, they, they form one group. They, 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 they will want leader to teach them. Okay, if you go out to see the thing, you ask yourself, you need it or, or you don't need it. But always do this type of stuff, you see. Uh, and then uh, some, they will, <laughs> they will make a vow that if they go to shopping crazy again, uh, so they will cut their finger. <laughs> some, they will make this type of promise, you know, uh, if I go to shopping, uh, uh, crazy shopping again, so I cut my finger. Do you think it is effective? <laughs> <laughs> it looks funny, huh? uh, so, but uh, this is how people do or uh, what they cannot resist, you see. They try their every best to do it, you see. Huh? Why, you see, class, uh, the reason is here, you see. 
Ah, uh, you see, ah, uh, the manifest is not giving up. Uh. They're seeing the enjoyment in things uh, that lead to the bondage, you see. Uh, actually, all this stuff uh, lead you to the bondage, but they just feel the joy in me. They can't resist. So if you come and learn the Dharma, we will tell you which one is the bondage. Uh, but sometimes, uh, uh, I mean, uh, we still need something which is necess uh, as a base necessity, uh, like the cloth we, we really need as a base necessity. But the problem is uh, they're, they're, they're really over already. It's not the necessity. There's what they want more than what they need already. Uh. But, but by the way, should I know, is there anyone, uh, 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 your closet is full of cloth, including the cloth, uh, haven't cared the labor yet. Uh. Anybody experience this? The closet full of the cloak and some is very new or even haven't tear the label yet. Anyone? <laughs> no. <laughs> you need to say, you, you are not that normal, it seems. Uh, <laughs> because uh, it seems in KL people, um, most of the normal people are uh, the closer full of the cloak. <laughs> and then once they, they, uh, once they start to giving out, uh, 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 the coat the is still new uh, and still got label and good packaging yet. Uh, see now. <laughs> Okay, good lah. So you are, you are all uh, uh, quite normal. Huh? Okay, next we go is abandon the hatred. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Roma, can you please uh, read the paragraph? Huh? Abandoning hatred. Huh? Abandoning hatred. Hatred, dosa. Dosa, the second unwholesome root, comprises all kinds and degrees of aversion. Ill will, anger, irritation, annoyance, and animosity. Its characteristic is ferocity. Its uh, function is to spread or to bar up its own support. That is the mind and body in which it arises. It is manifested as persecuting and its proximate cause is a ground for annoyance. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, please highlight the point. Okay. Sorry? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, yes, it's okay already. Please highlight the point. Then we go to second video clip. Okay. okay, please enjoy the second video clip. Then we start our discussion now.
Yeah, class applause to the video clip. Yeah, thank you so much uh, mm, for the production. Okay, Sean, uh, what do you watch? Uh? What do you learn from the video clip? Uh? What do you see from the video clip? Uh? Uh, always respect others, uh, even though it's kids, uh, some, sometimes. Mm, okay, can you uh, do a little bit elaboration, recapitulation? What do you, what, uh, what, what, what do you observe uh, from the video clip? Uh? So the queen is trying to control her daughter. She's okay. trying to plan. It may be in the queen's mind, uh, it's just doing, doing everything good, uh, the best for the daughter. Uh, but uh, ultimately, uh, it's really, uh, uh, I think the, for the kids, uh, it's, uh, they feel happy. Uh, they do what they want is most important. Uh. Mm, okay. So don't, don't use our own value uh, to, to plan for them. Let them have a free, free choice. Okay, so it seems uh, there, there will be some conflict to each other. We know this that. Uh, but uh, when, during the conflict, uh, you know this that. Uh, Gun, do you know this that? Well, during the conflict, uh, what, the, uh, what, the, uh, uh, what the kids do first uh, during the conflict? Uh, when they both are very angry. Uh, uh, we create a hatred. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, uh, what, uh, what the kids do uh, uh, the moment uh, she is in hatred? Uh, we uh, try to fight back. Uh. Uh, do, you, okay, do you remember uh, the, I mean, uh, the princess uh, used the knife uh, to cut one thing, right? Uh, to cut one thing. Okay, actually, uh, that is the, uh, the uh, I think, uh, uh, um, I mean, uh, this, this, this piece of the coat uh, uh, is needed by his mother, you know. You can see three figures, you see. So, meaning, meaning you say one is the king, one is the queen, one is the kids. So this is something, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, the queen liked very much. So meaning to say that once uh, the princess is very angry, uh, she tried to destroy the thing which the king uh, preferred mostly. So how, the, how did the queen uh, retaliate? Uh, can't you see it? How does, uh, how, how, how does the queen retaliate? Uh, Sean? Uh, how how does the queen uh, uh, retaliate? Uh, then then the the queen will take the, um, the best off, throw away the the, the knife. Is it the, uh, the, knife? Bowl, right? uh, the, the bowl, bowl right? Uh, the bowl right? Uh, the bowl. Okay. Why? Because <laughs> the uh, 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 hunting is the favorite. Uh, mm. It's the favorite of the princess. So what does that mean? So the meaning is see. Take a look. You see, uh, once we are angry to each other, uh, we have a tendency to do what. Okay, uh, you see, uh, 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 okay. you see, uh, a characteristic is ferocity, is proximate causes to spread or to burn up its own support. The mind, uh, anybody which is, is rises, it is manifested as a persecuting and uh, a proximate cause is the ground for annoyance. So you see, uh, basically, uh, once we are angry, uh, maybe I think I missed out one sentence here. Uh, basically, what we try to do, we will destroy, uh, I mean, uh, uh, if one, we, one, one you make me angry, I will destroy the thing which you like very much. So that's why I can hurt you. Uh, that, uh, that is, uh, 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 I mean, the uh, outcome of the angry. So you see, meaning to say that actually, uh, if the person, if the people, uh, they don't know you well, uh, they couldn't hurt you because they don't know what you like. Uh. Ah, the best way to make you angry, to hurt you, is to destroy what, what is your favorite, you see. So meaning to say that sometimes uh, the drama uh, can occur, uh, within the family member, because uh, everybody knows each, each other very well, you see. So that's why uh, uh, in, in Buddhism, we encourage everybody uh, to do the metta bhavana in order uh, to make sure that uh, you can overcome uh, your temper. Because if you cannot overcome the temper, uh, once you hurt the people, uh, later on, you will regret like the king, like the queen. Do you realize that after the, at the end part, uh, uh, once the queen uh, threw the bowl, then he start to want to uh, take back the bowl, right? And she started crying, right? She said, oh, well, what did I do? Am I right? Do you, do you remember that? Ah, yes. Maybe to say that this is what we try to do. Uh, once we're angry, we destroy something, then we regret again. Uh, so we could, uh, keep on repeat. Uh, if, we, if we couldn't avoid uh, all the, I mean, uh, all this stuff of uh, angry. Uh, uh, how to uh, encounter angry? Uh, uh, basically, if let's say you really feel angry, maybe the first thing, just take a deep breath first. Don't talk. Because at the moment we talk or we act, quite surely it is, I mean, it will end up as a disaster. Or, or, or we end up as, it will end up as a devastation. So make sure we don't act first in the very beginning. And second, uh, 
uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we, we all teach you uh, the energy exercise. Uh, basically, the way I see spinning chakra is quite helpful to stable you. Uh, so you can do the spinning chakra every day. Uh, once you do it, you need to say that you are more stable and not easy for being influenced by outside. Okay, huh? and then one more is uh, uh, do the meta bawana. Uh, the perception uh, for this uh, to avoid the angry, uh, especially you met your enemy, is try to magnify the good the good point of your enemy. Uh, you see, uh, because uh, every day uh, you have to go back to office to work, uh, you always deal with family member, but you just don't know how uh, sometimes somebody uh, you, really, you really don't like him or her. Or maybe, uh, or, or maybe you are the one uh, where your boss uh, really hates you. You don't know why, huh? It's just always uh, just 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 uh, uh, do want uh, to see you happy. You see, so meaning to say that sometimes we call it as a karma effect, or uh, no people can help it, or uh, but anyway, if let's say for you, okay, they are the junior. You try to see the good point of it. Uh, uh, so once you magnify the good point, then uh, you can balance yourself. Uh, you won't be that angry, huh? And one more thing is, uh, you see. Uh, if we are if we are really angry, uh, we will burn up uh, uh, the support. What does it mean? The own support actually is a B U R T. Uh, burn up its own support. Support is what is your heart. Uh, because in ancient Buddhism, uh, they, through the meditations experience, they notice that heart play a major role, uh, especially if you're angry. Uh, I think now it is proof scientifically. If you are you are if you are you you got a heart attack, uh, uh, the doctor will say. Please don't go angry. You will die instantly if you don't control a temper. So that is true. Lah. Actually, our heart lah, in Buddhism, uh, they notice that it plays major role for most of the consciousness, arising of the consciousness. Of course, nowadays, uh, scientifically, uh, we believe that the brain uh, is, the major, is, the, is, is the major organ uh, maybe uh, to, uh, to respond for connective process or whatever. But one thing uh, is very funny. Huh? Okay, if let's say, uh, okay, okay, you, you, I mean, uh, you want to tell somebody that, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, you, you, you like him or you like her, uh, so you will say, uh, okay, uh, uh, I mean, uh, in my mind, my, my mind always, uh, uh, my mind always have you, or, or will you say that my brains always have you? Uh? So, Tan, which one will you, will you say that uh, you are always in my brain, or will you say you are always in my mind? Which one will you say? In my mind. Why don't you say you're always in my brain? Because uh, now science always talk about the brain, right? So why don't you say so? It should be in, in my heart. No? Not in your brain. So if you have your heart, which your organ function? What you say, no. uh, you, were, you, were, you were always in my, in my heart. No? So it's really uh, your heart is missing the people or your brain is missing to the people. Ah, you see or not? Eh, it seems that okay. But one thing, uh, if you say, uh, oh, I have a broken heart. Actually, you feel pain here or you feel pain here? Plus, I have a broken heart. You feel pain here or pain here? Pain here, right? Oh, okay. Uh, but you see, uh, science always tells us that it should be the brain, right? Ah, but uh, they say uh, maybe it's the hippocampus there. Uh, once we uh, once, uh, once have uh, all the drama, uh, all the memory will keep in the hippocampus. So the hippocampus that there will be one mechanism to protect you from always being recurring uh, and hurt yourself. But what we really experience, I have a broken heart. The heart, the feeling is here, you see. So we need to say that signs are uh, just partially explain the truth for me. Mm -hmm. So the rest, uh, you have you got to really need the Buddhism. If you really meditate and go to the stage of vipassana, you will notice that actually heart play the major role. Uh, if you go to Further, uh, the Buddhism psychology, uh, if you go to further the class, uh, I'm going to teach later on. Uh, if you take the class, uh, you will understand uh, basically actually said uh, almost more than half of the consciousness, uh, they need our heart as a support, not the brain, you see. Very funny, huh? Okay, huh? okay. And, 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 and uh, there's a few cases, notice that uh, as, uh, for the heart transplant, uh, Especially, there's one very famous case. Uh, uh, old people, uh, he got a new heart uh, from the kids, you know. Uh, uh, once the heart transplant from the kids to the old people, uh, uh, the habit also transplant. Uh, so meaning to say that what the kid likes, uh, the old man not like it already. He, he said, oh, I don't know why, I just like all these things. Why? Because meaning to say the heart uh, contains some habits. Uh. So this is what we know. Uh, okay, uh. But, uh, but one thing is, uh, since we know this step, uh, uh, the, the people who know us best that uh, can really hurt us, this is reason why you seldom 
make good friend in your office because you don't know who is your enemy. You better keep secret for yourself. If you tell people uh, uh, what you like, but uh, if you don't if you don't know how to keep secret, meaning to say you don't know how to protect yourself, because uh, the people who in your office are uh, anytime they, they can turn up become an enemy, you see, so you get hurt. So that's why people that prefer make friends are uh, they, they, they appreciate the friend during the childhood and maybe during the study time, not in the working time. Anybody agree? Probably. Uh, see, uh, all agree, you see. Uh, so that's why uh, you protect yourself is true because uh, they, the more they know you, uh, they can hurt you, especially if they are angry, you see. And you have a conflict of interest uh, with them, you see. Uh, so, so this is also, uh, this is uh, what, what we can learn from Buddhism too. Uh, okay, uh, okay uh, but uh, for the greediness, uh, okay, uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, Buddhism talk about the balance. Uh, if you are greedy, meaning to say that you have tendency to magnify uh, all the good things. Once you magnify the good things, uh, you will indulge in the feeling of the joy. So in order to, I mean, to encounter the greedy, you have to magnify the bad point. Ah, you have to magnify the bad point. So meaning to say that you will notice that uh, if you see something, uh, uh, you will indulge, you have to find out the bad point of that thing and you try to magnify it. Then uh, when you magnify, uh, the, the bad point, you start to feel disgust and your disgust will balance your greedy. But from here, it's the opposite. Because uh, whatever you see, you will feel angry because you keep on uh, magnifying all the, all the negative point so, and shortcoming. So in this perspective, you have to purposely to find out the good point so that you can feel the joy and to balance yourself. Plus, do you get it? Mm. So this is something we call it as the balance. It's the balance, the point. Huh? But if you notice that uh, your character inborn uh, uh, is very mild type, uh, uh, please don't always look at the good point of the people. Because uh, if you look at the good point of people, uh, you, you might be got cheated. Uh, because uh, why? The reason is uh, you, you will see everybody uh, is a good people, you know. Uh, especially for the people who have a mild character. You see everybody is a good character. Uh, you, must, you, must, you should try to balance yourself to see the, good, the bad point from the people. And oppositely, if, if, you, if, if you're the anger type people, uh, uh, basically, you used to see everybody is very bad one. <laughs> uh, so uh, meaning to say you have less friend. Uh, so you have to balance yourself. To, uh, you have to train yourself, always see the good point of the people so that you can balance yourself. Okay, huh? so class, you know what I mean? You have to understand yourself, then you know what to do, uh, which is suitable to you. Okay, huh? okay. So this is uh, the second one. It's about the... Uh, uh, abandoning the hatred. Okay. Oh, oh. Now we go to the abandoning sloth and talk. Okay. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, he's sleeping. Oh. Oh, oh. See. <laughs> it's too tight. Okay. Mr. Uh, yeah, Liao can. Okay. Uh, let me close the camera. Oh. Uh, okay. So, not that embarrassed because everything has been recorded now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leo, uh, your turn to read now. Abandon, abandoning sloth and topo. Sloth, Tina, sloth is slush, slushiness and dullness of mind. Its characteristic is lack of driving power. Its function is to dispel energy. It is manifested as sinking of the mind. Its proximate cause is unwise attention to boredom, drowsiness, etc. Topo, Mida. Topo is the mohip state of the mental factors. Its characteristics is unwildiness. Its function is to smoother. It is manifested as dropping or as nodding and sleepiness. Its proximate cause is the same as that of slot. Okay, can you please highlight the point, please, sir? Okay, let's go to watch another video clip. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> 
pull a prank around the world. Almost like a magic trick. A prank so sweet, he knows it's even happened. This is something we all do every day. But today, I'm gonna make you do it with the power of a yawn. Okay, uh, yeah, we applause to the video clip. Okay, huh? Well, basically, there's one people is sleeping already, yeah, even before we play the video clip. <laughs> okay, according to the statistic, uh, about 30 people, 30% uh, people will be yawning watching the, uh, the video clip. I think that's true. Anybody yawning just now? Ah, see two people, you see? Ah, it's just like a disease, you see? Okay, uh, uh, basically, why we feel uh, yawning? Uh, uh, why we relate to the sloth and topper and sleeping? The reason is uh, once we start to yawning, uh, we need to say that all our faculty, uh, our like eye, ear, tongues, all this, uh, they start will be sluggishness. Basically, we can't perform the thing very well. Uh, uh, not only the meditation, even though the daily life, uh, uh, you can't do very well because uh, they are all in the sluggishness. Uh. There's a few reasons. Number one, maybe you are not interested to the topic. Okay, uh, you are not interested, you lost the interest. Okay, second, uh, it could be due to the physical problem. Number one, Okay, if you, you are able to sit uh, in the straight back, uh, uh, if your body is straight, basically, uh, I mean, uh, you, yeah, you, will, you, will, uh, you will you will be more alert, number one. Okay, uh, if you, let's say, uh, once you sit, uh, you prefer to, I mean, you have a hunchback, so uh, the, the energy cannot flow, I mean, uh, smoothly uh, to the head, so you have the sluggishness. Then one more thing is, uh, if, 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 if let's, okay, so this is reason why, uh, uh, if possible, before the graduation, I mean, from the class, uh, you, you should be able, you should try to meditate until you feel the energy flow through your body breath. Okay, uh, uh, Eden, have you ever experienced that? You meditate and you feel the energy flow your body breath. Have you ever experienced that? Body breath is the back, is it? Body breath, yes, your back, yes. Uh, you feel the energy push through the back and become straight. You don't yeah, yes. the cushion. Yeah, yeah, if sometimes we're, we're rich, yeah point that very calm uh. ah, the energy you that, the right? push you your you don't need energy at all at the back yeah so that's I'm, why ah okay so this is a quite important turning point huh? okay class you see uh, according eden he said once you meditate in a quite good state uh, it will happen meaning to say that if in the bad state nothing happened uh. <laughs> Right, uh, if you're gonna concentrate well, meaning to say it would happen, huh? But anyway, once it happened, uh, it means what, uh? Because uh, once the energy able to flow over the bra, so meaning to say that you will be healthier if you compare to the presently. A lot of this is uh, due to the flow of the energy is it's not smooth, uh, through your the bra. Okay, plus do you get it? Uh, so uh, this is something uh, you should try to be uh, 
uh, you, you should try to work hard. Huh? And one thing is that if you can learn the Qigong, huh? especially in early, we teach the Qigong. If you're able to learn the Qigong, you can, I mean, uh, you can uh, speed up uh, the process uh, and experience the strength of the vertebra. So uh, this can avoid uh, the sloth and topper. Uh, and then uh, there will be some reason, other reason why uh, you, you will feel that. Um, okay, uh, besides, uh, uh, besides uh, uh, one more is uh, because of tired. Uh, uh, okay, if let's say you are very tired and exhausted, uh, uh, preferably, uh, it is preferably uh, you sleep uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes before meditate. Okay, uh, and then uh, once uh, you fresh up, you can sit well. Uh, Okay, so this is a few reasons uh, why people feel uh, uh, sloth and copper. Uh, uh. And, and another one is regards to sleeping. Uh, uh. Uh, this is something uh, quite is unavoidable for us to see. Uh. Uh, uh, this is a sloth, this is a copper. Uh. A copper is the morbid state of the mental factor. The characteristic, the characteristic is unwieldiness. So meaning to say that you, you feel that, okay, uh, you feel that, uh, 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 you, you feel you can't use it to do anything, you see. Uh, uh, it manifests as a uh, nudic and sleepiness. Uh, so uh, the proximate cause uh, is, is, is uh, a step of the sloth. Uh, so that is the meaning to say that uh, if you don't sleep well, you will have all this factor will occur to you. Uh, uh, and uh, the people surrounding you also will influence you. As we watch the video clip, you start yawning also. It's the same. Uh. Okay, uh, but uh, according to the Buddhism, uh, uh, for those uh, who are able to reach to the first jhana, then you will remove, uh, 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 and, and the sloth will topple, might be removed temporarily. If you wish to remove them permanently, you, the, there must be attainment of the arahanship. Uh, uh, you must become a sage, uh, then you will, I mean, uh, permanently eradicate uh, the sloth and topple, including uh, previously uh, the hatred and the greediness. Okay, so it's not. I mean, it's, it's, it is not that easy huh, to reach the stage, become the Arahan, but uh, uh, the attainment of the jhana is quite possible. If you're very close to the first jhana, number one, you will feel, uh, I mean, uh, you will feel, you feel fresh even though you sleep less. And then secondly, uh, you feel less attachment and, and the temper turns good. Okay, so that is the effective uh, from the meditation. That's why uh, in order to uh, make you achieve all this result. So I encourage you to come for the energy exercise because energy exercise uh, can I mean, uh, make you, uh, uh, make, make, uh, I mean, uh, uh, provide you, uh, I mean, uh, how to say, uh, it will prepare you uh, physically uh, more ready uh, uh, to sit better. Uh. Uh, Roma, can you uh, on your camera uh, and can you tell people that uh, how does the energy exercise help you, Roma? Uh, Roma, are you here, Roma? Okay, okay. Uh, maybe he's. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Can you on your camera? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, uh, can you tell people how does the energy exercise helps you? Huh? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, last time when I attended the uh, the session in the afternoon. Uh, you you showed some uh, practice, and while doing it, uh, I, I could feel a lot of energy, mm, okay. and uh, and my hands uh, and my hands started becoming very hot, mm. and I could and I could feel it in my body. Mm, okay, uh, how does the energy help you uh, in your daily life? Can you sleep better uh, with the energy or what? Yes, definitely, definitely. Can sleep mm -hmm. better. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel uh, uh, you are getting more healthy recently? Oh, uh, I, I, I can say yes, but as I already had a, a health issue just before joining the, the class, so I'm in the process of, uh, of getting better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you think you can meditate better with the help of the energy exercise? Oh, uh, yes, but uh, I'm not doing it much. You, you I'll be very doing... honest. Are you also yeah. under you are also under meditation. Under meditating, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. It's so class, I just try your best. I think you're about graduate ready. Huh? Uh, just learn more skill as much as possible before graduate. I hope that you can really experience uh, some peace of the mind huh, before you graduate uh, before you grad uh, before the graduation. Okay. Huh? So uh, uh, 
uh, Roma and his husband, uh, they are more frequent to join the class. Okay, uh, so uh, just at least uh, you, have, you, have, you try to join once uh, and learn how to interview. Uh, how to interview because after you graduate, uh, you go to join three day retreat, seven day retreat, you know how to report uh, to, this, uh, uh, to, the, to the teacher. Uh, so at least once uh, you have to join. Uh, uh, if you can join more, it's the best. Like Feng, uh, uh, she joined quite frequently and he learned all the skills and he also feel helpful. Uh, but he is sleeping now. Uh. <laughs> okay, so we go to the next one. Okay, abandoning sloth and topper. Now we go to the abandoning worry uh, and the restlessness. Okay, can you please copy down the remarks in red, please? Uh, can Tan please uh, read the passage uh, once you finish copying? Uh. Uh, number four, abandoning worry and restlessness. <coughs> worry, <coughs> kuku chia. Is worry or remorse after having done wrong. Its characteristic is subsequent regret. Its function is to sorrow over what has and what has not been done. It is, it is manifested as remorse. Its proximate cause is what has and what has not been done. That is wrongs of commission and omission. Rest, restlessness, uh, yutaka. Restlessness or agitation has the characteristic of disquieted like water whipped up by the wind. Its function is to make the mind unsteady. As wind makes a banner ripper, it is manifested, manifested as turmoil. Its proximate cause is unwise attention to mental disquiet. Okay, thank you so much. Class, can you please take a look? Is there anyone watch uh, this picture before? Anyone? Ah, uh, can uh, can you tell people uh, uh, what happened uh, to the photographer of this picture? Can can you tell the story about it? Uh, if not mistaken, the photographer uh, prefer to wait for to observe what is going on instead of help helping out the children. Okay. Uh, uh, did uh, did the uh, photographer awarded anything for this photo? Yeah, yeah. This this uh this picture is being awarded as uh, mm. I can't remember. What uh, was the police that. prize, uh, huh? The police uh, prize is equivalent to the Oscar prize, something like that, huh? Okay. So what is the outcome of the photographer? Outcome. He committed suicide. Mm. Uh, he committed suicide due to the guilty. 
Okay, huh? uh, well, uh, of course, uh, there's a different version. Uh, huh? So people, after, after he had been awarded the prize, uh, huh? people start to blaming him. Uh, why you don't go to save the children and let the voucher go to eat the children? You know? ah, so that is the thing. Uh, and, and the photographer, he kept on duty uh, and the guilty made him so uncomfortable and then he committed suicide. Okay, so this is something we call it as a restlessness and the topper. Let's take a look and see. So this is the meaning of the worry, you see. Uh, no, this is the restlessness. Uh, okay, uh, wait, no, it's a worry. You see, Kukucha, worry remorse after having done wrong. Okay, basically, uh, uh, the Kukucha will appear, the worry will appear once you have done something which is not supposed to do and you haven't done which is supposed to do. So this is something which uh, the photographer are supposed to do, but he didn't do it. So finally, the worry Kukucha is so strong until he commits suicide. Okay, huh? So for us, uh, basically two things, uh, huh? uh, you shouldn't wait. Uh, in order to avoid, avoid the worry, uh, why? Number one is the filial piety. Uh, once uh, our parents is still here. Second is the good deeds. If you don't take an opportunity to the good deeds uh, and miss it out, and then you will be guilty. So this is the two things that uh, always, we have to always remind ourselves. Uh, uh, just every time, uh, uh, I mean, uh, must take the opportunity to do the things, you see. Uh, so this is about the worry Kuku Cha, you see. And one more is a restlessness. Uh, uh, restlessness meaning to say, uh, it means what? It means that like, if uh, basically, uh, once you see it and do nothing, there's a restlessness already. Uh, our mind is keep on lingering. I mean, like, it's always from A to B, B to A. Uh, uh, so once you meditate, immediately you know the effect of the, I mean, uh, of the restlessness. This is so clear, huh? so easy we observe it. Okay. Uh, so, okay, class, 